This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. Today I'm going to make a sample of this pretty little dragonfly stitch. This is easy to make on any flatbed Japanese machine. I'm currently working on a mid-gauge. For a sample like mine, pick out 28 needles from 14 left to 14 right, and then get a washable marker. This is an old-fashioned overhead projector marker and it comes off just great. I also like Crayola washable markers. You're going to mark the needle bed to make it easy. I have four needles I don't do anything with and then I bring out every fourth needle after that and then I have four needles on the right and I'm going to mark these with a line then a circle, a line, then a circle, a line, and then a circle. That way I know which groups of needles to bring out for the pattern stitch. I'm bringing out alternate groups of needles so that one time I have butterflies here and the next time the butterflies are in between. I cast on, knitted a few rows, and hung a weight. Here are the tools I'm going to need. I've got a cut credit card for opening and closing latches, a 3-in-1 tool, and a 2-in-1 transfer tool. I'm setting my carriage for hold. That way it will not knit any of the stitches that are pulled all the way out. And for this first one, I'm going to do the ones that have the lines. So I'll get those three needles that have the line marking on them, plus their neighbors. So there's three needles there, three needles there, and three needles there. Now I'm going to knit four rows and with the machine set for short rowing, it will just lay the yarn on top of those needles. This group of three needles will not knit. See the string of yarn lying across that needle? So that's one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to do the little bit of manipulation that is necessary to get the design. So I've got my three by one tool and my cut credit card. I'll start by putting the tool on these three needles and I close the latch with the credit card. These threads hanging across the top tend to get fouled in the latches, but if you close them over the tool they give you no trouble at all. Then I just push in, transferring the stitches onto the three prongs of the tool. And then I'm going to just move the tool down slowly below the needle bed. Going down loosens things up so I can easily get these three loops. I take all three loops and hang them on the middle needle. And then I sort of even these up and get my three loops from underneath and put those in those three hooks. Just like that. That put the loops on the front of the work which is what makes the stitch so pretty on the knit side of the work. So push in with my closed latches, go down below the bed and just hold that. Then I take a single transfer tool, put the three loops on the middle needle. You don't want to get those loops behind these gate pegs. Just bring the needle out enough so you can get hung onto it. And then take these loops and put them on. And it helps if the latches are open. Now over on the right, I actually split a stitch, but it's easy enough to pick it up and put it on where it belongs. The next one, take the three needles and get them on the tool, close the latches, put the stitches on the tool, and bring the tool down below the needle bed. I'll just hold it there. The other hand, I'm taking this tool and putting it on all three loops on that center needle. And now I can go ahead and hang the other loops. And that's it. Now after doing that, I like to do two rows plain. Then I go back. Those were my line needles. I'm going to get my groups where the circles are. So the circle is the middle needle in the group. Four rows. And 
then I do the same moves with my tools. Getting the needles on the tool, closing the latches, bringing the stitches on down below the bed, using my other tool to put the center of those loops on the center needle, line the loops up, bring the stitches out, and plunk them on the needles. Now right here I've got a split loop and I don't like it so I'm going to fix it. Put my tool in it, get the stitch off, and just put it on properly. I don't like the looks of a split bit of yarn. And here's the next one. And here's the next one. You're probably noticing how I angle my tool down so the prongs come up so that they hold those three stitches quite securely. If you fiddle with it a few minutes, you'll get a nice routine going. Two extra rows, and let's put another repeat on. If you forget where you were, you can easily see this on the pearl side that I was on the circles. So this time I'm going to do the straight lines. It's so much easier to mark stitches than to try to remember where you were. You can also close the latches with your finger, but I really like the credit card. It just does such a great job. Here's how I would close the latches with my fingers. Great use for all the silly plastic cards I receive in the mail. Now I'm just going to knit a few rows, bind off, and show you the sample. So there you have it. A pretty little stitch to dress up knits they can be made on almost any machine.